Hello Python programmers, in this video I am going to explain about the differences between Pandas and Spark frameworks. First you have to understand what these two are. Well Pandas and Spark are two different data processing or manipulation frameworks. Pandas is most a classic one for data processing and Spark frameworks are more of a modern one. These two above frameworks have lot of demand and drawbacks on their side. Let's discuss about the pros and cons of each side and you will get to know about what you need for your data processing tasks. So let me start with pandas because it is more popular among the data science beginners. Pandas is open source python library and it is one of the popular library for data processing and analytics. Especially if you have a small amount of structured data you can mostly rely with pandas support because pandas has one major drawback called parallelization. Parallelization is something that gives you the power of performing the distributed data processing task easily among the huge data volume. But in pandas it is not achievable since it has a single node support that's why the pandas is not good for handling the huge data volumes other than that if you are doing your work in pandas you can get you can get more support of different algorithmic implementation libraries by using those libraries you can easily implement the machine learning algorithms on pandas data frame without doing any complex code operations suppose if you want to perform the large data task on pandas it could be possible in pandas but it requires a lot of resources to execute the operations and another factor in pandas is eager execution it should be you to decide whether you want the eager execution operations or lazy execution operations eager execution is somewhat when you initiated a task it will get executed instantly without checking for the optimizations so the pandas has the support of eager execution it will give you memory error if you are not writing optimized queries on your data task so these are the pros and cons of pandas and let's move to the next one on other hand we have the spark frameworks lot of data engineers and data scientists are saying like spark is 100 times faster than pandas well it is true but it also has some disadvantages and advantages when compared to pandas spark will operate the task on distributed computing frameworks since it has multi node support it will split the data task into different worker nodes for data computation one of the big advantage of spark is it is not language dependent meaning you can write the spark code on python java r scala and if you are good at any one of the above language you can take spark and write your queries and for machine learning support spark provides mllib libraries by using that you can implement machine learning algorithms on, on spark data frame directly but it has some drawbacks you can't expect a wide range of algorithmic wrapper libraries in in spark since the machine learning is evolving every time spark adds new algorithmic libraries in their documentation speaking of execution types its spark operates lazy execution itself how it will work means if you are executing a query it will be delayed until all the logical phases of query has been optimized so it is a process of lazy execution other than these major key points there are other minor point of differences are available between them like fault tolerance syntax differences mutability and etc so coming to the question of which one you should learn so most of the companies are already moved to spark frameworks because in real world the data is big and more complex so for handling the different type of data spark provides more support compared to pandas and if you are a beginner in data engineering or data science try to adapt any one of the spark flavors it is more indeed useful in real time task and that's all about this video thanks for watching and thank you see you on next another video